certainly has been a tough year for many South Africans who've had to bear the brunt of credit downgrades, some technical recession, and the impact this had on their personal lives. Mm -hmm. So as we approach the festive weekend and the last week of uh, the year 2017, many may feel they have no hope going into the next year or are extremely lonely due to not having or being able to see their loved ones over this time. To speak to us about how we can deal with a feeling of despair over the festive season, we joined now by Cherry Tim Gornet clinical psychologist from the South African Anxiety and Depression Group Study. Good morning to you, Charity. Thank you so much for coming through. Thanks for having me, Paletta. God, where do we even start? All right, let's start from the beginning. Yes. <laughs> let's talk about problems that uh, people usually come with uh, during this festive season mm -hmm. when they come to your offices. Yes, I think the biggest issue is that a lot of people, there's a societal norm and there's an expectation that because it's a festive season, um, people going around saying Merry Christmas and everyone is expected. There's a huge expectation uh, that people place on themselves and that society, Hollywood, movies place on people that during the festive season one has to be quite happy and quite excited and that everything should be very merry and joyful and jovial. Mm -hmm. And I think... Um, a lot of people find it very difficult to be genuine about how they feel about the festive season mm. because it's a time where you're expected to spend um, time with your family, yes. to be with family, with loved ones. And I think for a lot of people, um, ironically speaking, a lot of people's stress and a lot of uh, the difficulties that they posed with during the festive season usually comes from family members or mm. some relatives. And well, I some don't even have families. Yes. They don't have family members. Some are lonely and uh, they feel isolated for the fact that it's festive season. Everyone is going home and yet they have no one to go to. Very true. And for some people, it's probably the first festive season or the first Christmas without a loved one mm. that they lost. And for some people, it's um, having lost maybe family members or um, some relatives. Yeah. Um, during the year and not having to see them or spend time with them. I think the loneliness becomes more pronounced during the season because of the whole notion of it being time for family and um, it being a festive cheer or yes. like a cheerful yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And there's also the opposite extreme where people only get to see their family members this time of the year, but they sort of begin to resent them because of all the responsibilities that come with going home. Mm. Talk about black tax for some of us. For sure. When you go home, you're expected to do certain things for your family members. For sure. And I mean, that's the most difficult part, actually, because the very same place where you expected, and I think what causes a lot of people to have depression and low mood and be quite distraught and really dread the festive season is because there's a pressure that's placed on on you that you place that we place on ourselves mm -hmm. to go home and to fulfill a certain role and for a lot of people the festive season poses them with feelings of lack of control that there are certain expectations that are made of you you feel unable to voice certain things out perhaps there are conflictual relationships or tumultuous relationships that you have with certain family members and it's a very difficult time when you have to be with them um, over this time say about two weeks or a week or just over the Christmas weekend and it can pose as a very difficult thing yeah. because there's expect an, ex an expectation from what the season holds uh, mm. unrealistic expectations really from movies that you see from Hollywood from other things in society and therefore placing that um, expectation and that unrealistic expectation on ourselves to be with our families and for things to be cheerful, even if it's probably a tumultuous or conflictual relationship or going home or seeing family members or relatives is laden with a lot of difficulties. But how do you deal with such? Hmm. I think the first thing is to be able to um, tweak the expectations to not conform to the unrealistic expectations mm -hmm. that it's okay to not be festive and happy all the time yeah, which is very difficult there are societal norms there for sure yeah. for sure so it's very difficult to go against it feels like going against the current and not conforming to what is, is expected of you over the season and not conforming to being happy and i think lowering those expectations and mm -hmm. realizing that um perhaps you've had a difficult year perhaps it's been a difficult year with your family perhaps there are certain relationships in your family that are strained and are not going well and to be re realistic about what you expect from yourself going into that situation and I think another thing is also to realize that it's a it's a short period of it's time. a very short period yes and yet we spend so much on for it sure, for sure yeah. for sure so all right
Okay, Charity, we have to leave it at that. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for uh, coming through. Um, I believe the message has gone through. Thank you so much. Sure. Thank you very Thank much. You. All right, it's uh, just uh, five minutes before um, 8 o'clock. Thank you so much to uh, Charity Mgoni, uh, a clinical psychologist from the South African Anxiety and Depression Group, talking to us about the festive season blues. We're taking a break.